Hey Collective, so I'm back with another channel message. I hope all is well with each and every one of you. That was the laziest shuffle I could have ever done, ever on this channel. Let's get a good shuffle in. Um, <laughs> Y'all, I wore the hell out. Let me just tell you something. I had such a good time today for my daughter's birthday. Um, me and both of my daughters had such a good time just playing and all that good stuff, jumping and me acting like a little kid again and pretending like I'm five years old, but that's a good thing, right? <laughs> so anyways, I have a new deck here, but more importantly, I have a channel message and the channel message here collected is watch your step. Yep. Watch your step. They want to see you fall, and I mean literally. This isn't like, oh, they want to see you go broke, or they want to see you go homeless, or they want to see you get sick, or no. This is they really want to see you fall, like on your face, flat on your face collective. So whoever this is, definitely keep a keen and a um, just an eye out on people and energies that just do not serve you, that do not feel right, that may have once in the past felt right but may have in the past felt like the thing to do all right um may have felt like in the past necessary energies here mm. first card that flipped out we have the three of pentacles okay and this is in the reverse here all right so hmm. i feel like somebody was trying to shield you or they was trying to shield their darkness from you yeah but it didn't work. No, because you've seen it anyways. Yeah, with the Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. You've seen it anyways. <laughs> no matter how long it, t it took you, perhaps, to come into the uh, realization or into the, the recollection of someone's true behavior, their true actions, their true demeanor here. Yeah, you, you bossed up on them, all right? You, you woke up on them. Yeah, we got the nine of swords here. Mm -hmm. Somebody is definitely inconsolable collective. Yeah, with the eight of pentacles. Meanwhile, you ain't. The eight of pentacles keep coming out. Every time we get into this energy collective, I notice that the eight of pentacles is coming out. Because to me, this is just a telltale fact. And um, just confirmation and clarification of you not giving in to the enemy. You know, you refusing to give in to the enemy's devices here is what I am seeing. And, and truly just working on yourself and what it is that you seek and wish to bring in to this new dimension that you're walking in, right? Ooh, wow. Right behind the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles here. Very, very interesting. Can't nobody tell you shit at this time. You know exactly who you are. You know exactly what you want. And, and you know exactly what you're after here. Is what I'm saying. Somebody wanted you to doubt yourself. In terms of your ability to make money. Somebody wanted you to feel like you would have to go through the traditional route. You know, so-called, quote-unquote, go to school or you know, get a degree and this and that and the other, but that's not working because that is the old way and the old paradigm is no more. As you all can see here, ooh, thank you Holy Spirit for bringing that back, but I literally had a dream. Something along the lines of this system being dismantled, this system being destroyed. I, I literally seen everything about this system being destroyed in my dream and it's happening ever, like, that's another reading for another day, y'all. I, I would have to have the time and the space and the energy to really, really deliver that one, which is not hard. I would just have to, if it's that serious, just hire a sitter, okay, um, to get that message out. But, hmm, we have three of cups. Yeah. <clears throat> you all have definitely overcame these heavy challenges, these heavy burdens. There's people coming in to help you. There are people coming in to assist you now. Ooh. Yep, <clears throat> we have the world. All right, you're shining hard. You are a star here. We just had the big 444 on the clock. Really quickly, you all, if you hear some snoring in the background, again, I apologize. Um, my children, my children. 
gotta love it. I'm about to be snoring and, ho and hog heaven right along with them, y'all. It's been a good day. And I want to pass on some of this loving and this bountiful energy along, along with you all. Okay. All right, what else is uh, What else would you like me to know about this energy? Who, who wants my collective to fall? Who is this and why? We're going to get into some channel messages next. But I was guided to pull some tarot first. Yeah, bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. Hmm. Yeah. With this light, it's like, like, you see hands and then you just see fire. Either this was someone using their magic negatively and in a very low vibrational way in terms of, you know, because everybody has magic to an extent, right? But this was someone who was using their magic in a way to destroy you, right? To keep you stagnant. Yeah, somebody just does not like to see you grow. Somebody does not like to see you learn. Somebody does not like to see you rise. They don't like to see you shine. And, and well, too damn bad. <laughs> seven of Cups. Seven of, seven of Cups, Ace of Wands. I feel like you're equipped with an inner knowing, an inner knowledge, okay? There's something about you. There's something about what you can do that no one else can. And that's the beauty of it. I'm really enjoying these cards, by the way. We have the Seven of Pentacles. So, someone is turning their back to their past mistakes, their past choices, their past judgment. Because you're realizing that that is no longer you. You are now embodying and walking in this newfound energy and either folks are going to accept it or they're going to reject it the choice is theirs ultimately right <clears throat> what else do we have here yeah we have the moon and that is the truth all right they're going to accept it or they're going to reject it they're going to get on board or they're going to push you away and they're going to make you feel as though you are an outcast such as everyone else has right Wow, we have the higher font in the reverse. Yeah, someone is trying to, or yeah, someone was trying to, or did lead you astray. Um, someone here could be trying to set you up for failure here. Someone here could try to give you some sort of like bad advice, knowing that you, you know, you have, you have, or had at the time a lot of love for them. So anything that they told you, you would have thought that, you know. I'm not saying that anything they say you would just thought like, oh, this is the right thing, but no, it's like, you really felt like you could trust this person, and they, man, they showed you another side of them, that's for damn sure. Yeah, we got the four of cups. <clears throat> to me, what this signifies, this can go two different ways, as per usual, this could go multiple ways, but what I'm seeing particularly from this energy is that Someone here is reminded of something. They're going to continuously be reminded of something here until they finally get it. If they choose to get it, if they choose to awaken to the truth of their contribution to the way in which their life has gone and to the way in which their life has went. You can't blame nobody for how your life is or in the direction your life has went when you have chosen or, you know, you have decided not to take no action towards your greater good, right? <clears throat> Any further messages for my beautiful divine collective? I don't want to make this one too long. <laughs> we got the Queen of Pentacles. This is so look. Look at Spirit coming through. I I've never seen this deck a day in my life, y'all. Look. Look at my feather. Look at that. Look at my feather. I can't and this was from an actual live um not hen of course not a hen what the fuck is y'all 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 gonna have to correct me in the comments y'all I'm, I'm half asleep here all right but that was that was beautiful 
got this beautiful uh, synchronization there. But yeah, you're definitely sitting in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Definitely sitting on this high horse here. Definitely on this pedestal. Mm -mm, somebody hates to see it. This Knight of Pentacles hates to see it. Because they know they haven't leveled up. They know they ain't, they ain't done no work on themselves. Mm -mm, which is why they're operating in this death energy. Everything that they touch dies. Everything around them just... If it doesn't physically die, it mentally dies. It emotion, emotionally dies. Okay? Mm. Eight of Wands in the reverse. What is this? Eight of Wands. Too many cards. We're going to go ahead and reshuffle. <laughs> Eight of Wands in the reverse is five of swords. All right. Somebody's sitting here. Look. <laughs> Somebody's sitting here. This five of swords sick over this high priestess energy. This five of swords know this high priestess is minding her business, ain't worried about a soul. Okay. Is, is keeping certain things, certain details to herself. All right, this person is waiting for you to say something here. It's like, I'm feeling like an energy or some energy is sitting there waiting for you to confirm something yourself or to say something out of your mouth yourself here. It's like somebody wants you to, like, criminalize yourself or incriminate yourself or some shit like that. Like, I don't know, something like that. It ain't happening. Exactly. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We got the Seven of Swords energy coming out. It ain't happening. And they know it. So what else do we have out here yet as well as the page of wands okay somebody can act like they're stuck up they got a heart on or they're all that all they want to only to be only to be subjected to the same energy they try to place you in collective all right yeah we have the hermit okay so someone here can definitely be in uh, solitude i was about to say holitude or holitude okay or, all right <laughs> um all right you can be in solitude though. You can be doing a lot of spending time with the Most High, spending time with the ancestors, okay, and your guides. All right. Yeah, we have Temperance and the Queen of Swords here. Yeah, you've done a lot of inner work. You know, you you've had to battle between the light and the dark within yourself. All right. We have fire and water energy popping out with this Temperance card. So you can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aquarius, Pisces, Libra here okay we got um queen of swords you can also be a capricorn uh cancer taurus all right the energy that i'm picking up on yeah but somebody just huh something about your light here i'm just really focusing in on this picture this little tower here something about your light maybe a light bulb just went off is the energy i'm getting there just in terms of your circumstances in terms of where you are where you're going Yep. Look at this treasure chest of money. Listen. Listen, it's coming. It's yours, baby. Believe it. It's already yours. I know you know. I know. I know. I know. Listen, you know it's yours. Ooh, I just got chills when I said that. Seven of Cups. Listen, claim it. Go ahead. Take this world by storm because that is your birthright. That's what you were called to do. You were not called to be some docile, weak human being. You're more than that. You are a spiritual being having a human experience. All right? And these people have been wanting to see you fall. They have been wanting to see you sweat just so they could be able to say, I told you so. Just so they could be able to say to whoever they was trying to band up against you, oh, I told you so-and-so wouldn't do this. I told you they wouldn't do that. I told Listen, they all gonna have to eat dirt at the end of the day because you're gonna rise up anyway. And with that said, collective, if you all enjoyed this read, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button and comment down below. Let myself and others know that you were here. And until the next one, peace.